All India Radio presents Morning News. Good morning. I am Abhishek Mukhopadhyay. With me is Sarabjit Kaur. The headlines: Prime Minister Narendra Modi to inaugurate Biotech Startup Expo 2022 in New Delhi tomorrow. President Ramnath Kovind lauds youngsters of the country as not only inheritors of the past but also ones who will lead India into golden age. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh says India and Vietnam share a comprehensive strategic partnership and defence cooperation is a key pillar of this partnership. Reaches Vietnam on a three-day visit. Minister for Road Transport and Highways Nitin Gadkari inaugurates and lays foundation stones of 15 national highway projects. Worth over rupees thirteen thousand crores in Bihar yesterday. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar says India has gone extra mile for its neighbours and will continue to do so whether during COVID pandemic or the current economic crisis. Health Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia says aim of government is to provide affordable and accessible health care for all. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman to launch iconic day celebrations of Department of Economic Affairs in New Delhi today as a part of Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav. In Assam, polling underway for 26 Karbiang Long Autonomous Council (KAAC) constituencies. RBI's Monetary Policy Committee likely to announce outcome of meeting today in Mumbai. World Bank slashes global economic growth forecast for 2022 due to Russia-Ukraine conflict. supply chain disruption and other factors khelo india youth games 2021 maharashtra leads medal tally with 24 gold 24 silver and 18 bronze medals and indian shooter avni lekra strikes gold at the para shooting world cup in france with a record score yesterday As the nation celebrates the 75th year of independence, a series of events have been organized by the government as a part of Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav. To commemorate the occasion as a Jan Utsav, All India Radio News brings its listeners a special quiz on India's freedom movement and its glorious history. Recalling a yesterday's question, which movement is referred to as Ulgulan or the Great Chumalt in the Indian history? The correct answer is Munda Rebellion, led by Birsa Munda. EIA News got an overwhelming response from its listeners across the world and the one lucky winner of the quiz is Desh Deep Dash from Samaguria in Kendrapada district in Odisha. Hi, Desh Deep Dash, a plus 3 commerce student of Kendrapada Autonomous College. I am a regular listener of Morning News aired by All India Radio. With the inspiration of my father, I have been participating in Amrit Mahotsav quiz program. It is however a matter of solace to me that I have been declared with the winner of the same today. I would like to share my happiness with all the co-participants on this joyous day. I am ever indebted to All India Radio. Jai Hind. The next question of the Amrit Mahotsav quiz will be shared with the listeners on Monday, 13 June. Celebrate 75 years of India's independence by participating in Amrit Mahotsav quiz with AIR News. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate the Biotech Startup Expo 2022 at Pragati Maidan in New Delhi tomorrow and address the gathering. The Biotech Startup Expo 2022 is a two-day event to be held on 9th and 10th of this month. It is being organized by the Department of Biotechnology and Biotechnology Industry Research Assistance Council BIRAC. It is being held to mark completion of 10 years of setting up of BIRAC. The theme of the expo is Biotech Startup Innovations Towards Atmanirbhar Bharat. The expo will act as a platform to connect entrepreneurs, investors, industry leaders, scientists, researchers, bio incubators, manufacturers, regulators, government officials. About 300 stalls will be set up at the expo which will showcase the applications of biotechnology in various fields such as healthcare, genomics, biopharma, agriculture, industrial biotechnology, waste to value, clean energy among others. President Ramnath Kovind has said young citizens of the country are not only the inheritors of the past but also the ones who will be leading India into its next golden age. 
inaugurating the two-day conference of vice chancellors of central universities and directors of institutions of national importance at Rashtrapati Bhavan last evening Mr Kovin said we should be setting benchmarks for the best in the world the president expressed happiness that this year 35 indian institutions have been ranked in the qs ranking as against 29 last year in the top 300 there are six institutions this year as against four last year improving the quality of institutions of higher learning is of vital importance we should be setting benchmarks for the best in the world i am happy to note that this year 35 indian institutions have been ranked in the kwa karali cements our qs ranking as against 29 last year in the top 300 there are six institutions this year as against four last year i am especially happy to note that the indian institute of science has got a full score of 100 on the research parameter and shares this distinction with eight highly reputed institutions of the world including princeton harvard mit and caltech mr kovin said institutions of higher education have a major responsibility of transforming the impressionable youth and for this we need to address their aspirations as they are future leaders in various spheres of life speaking about the quality of education the president said that to improve it we should also consider sophisticated and innovative learning approaches he said when the pandemic threatened to derail teaching and learning technology ensured continuity The president noted that India's ranking in Global Innovation Index has significantly improved from 76 in 2014 to 46 in 2021. The president is the visitor of 161 central institutes of higher education. Out of 161 institutes, 53 are attending the conference physically while others are connected virtually. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh said that India and Vietnam share a comprehensive strategic partnership and defense cooperation is a key pillar of this partnership. He said Vietnam is an important partner in India's Act East policy and Indo-Pacific vision. Mr Singh is on a 3-day visit to Vietnam. In a series of tweets Rajnath Singh said he's looking forward to meet the president and the prime minister of Vietnam during his visit. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh will start his visit by paying respects to late president Ho Chi Minh at his Mausoleum in Hanoi he will hold bilateral talks with general Phan Van Giang both the ministers will review defense cooperation between the two countries and explore new initiatives to further strengthen the defense engagements at the Hong Ha shipyard in Hai Phong the Rajnath Singh will preside over the handing over ceremony of 12 high speed guard boats constructed under the government of India's 100 million US dollar defense line of credit to Vietnam The Ministry of Defence has issued three separate notifications amending the rules of the Army, the Navy and the Air Force for the appointment of the next Chief of Defence Staff CDS. Serving three star officers, Lieutenant General in Army, Air Marshal in Air Force and Vice Admiral in Navy or retired service chiefs or three star officers can be appointed Chief of Defence Staff if considered necessary in public interest. The officers should not have attained the age of 62 years. The CDS post has been lying vacant since the passing away of General Bipin Rawat who lost his life in a chopper crash in Tamil Nadu on the 8th of December last year. Health Minister Dr Mansukh Mandavia has said the aim of Narendra Modi government is to provide affordable and accessible health care for all. Addressing World Food Safety Day celebration in New Delhi yesterday Dr Mandavia said that the dream of developed india can be realized only if its citizens are healthy and healthy citizens make a healthy society after launching the logo for ayurved ahar he said this will help in creating a unique identity of ayurved ahar for easy identification and its proven benefits to improve health and well-being dr mandavia said states have an important role in ensuring food safety and healthy food practices फूड सेफ्टी सुनिश्चित करने के लिए आपको रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी मिली है काम करने का अवसर मिला है मैं मानता हूं कि देश को स्वस्थ रखने की जिम्मेवारी का एक महत्वपूर्ण पहलू ये सफाई है फूड सेफ्टी है और इसके ऊपर काम करके सदियों से फूड सेफ्टी के बारे में आज से नहीं 
सदियों से ध्यान रखा गया है गीता में कहा है कि भोजन आयु बढ़ाते हैं और किसी के अस्तित्व को पवित्र बनाता है तो उसके लिए भगवान श्री कृष्ण ने कहा कि अच्छा भोजन शक्ति प्रसन्नता का और संतुष्टि प्रदान करता है द मिनिस्टर ऑल्सो रिलीज फूड सेफ्टी एंड स्टैंडर्ड अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया फसाई फोर्थ स्टेट फूड सेफ्टी इंडेक्स एस एफ एस आई टू मेजर द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ स्टेट अक्रॉस फाइव पैरामीटर्स ऑफ फूड सेफ्टी यूनियन मिनिस्टर फॉर रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड हाईवेज नितिन गडकरी इनोग्रेटेड एंड लेड फाउंडेशन स्टोन ऑफ फिफ्टीन नेशनल हाईवे प्रोजेक्ट इन पटना एंड हाजीपुर इन बिहार विद द टोटल कॉस्ट ऑफ रूपीज थर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एटी फाइव Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Gadkari said, "Mahatma Gandhi Setu over River Ganga in Patna is the lifeline of Bihar, which connects North Bihar with South Bihar. With this superstructure replacement project, the time taken to cross Mahatma Gandhi Setu has been reduced from two to three hours to five to ten minutes." He said, "Chhapra Gopal Ganj section being." two lane with four bypasses will allow the traffic of the highway to pass through the bypass and the city will get rid of traffic jams हिंदुस्तान का सबसे बड़ा लोहे का ब्रिज है आज वो पहले हिंदुस्तान के इतिहास में बनकर तैयार हुआ है और ये आइकॉनिक ब्रिज केवल बिहार के ही नहीं तो देश के इतिहास में महत्वपूर्ण होगा ये आपको विश्वास दिलाता हूँ आज जो महात्मा गांधी सेतु के बराबर ही गंगा में नए ब्रिज का हम निर्माण कर रहे हैं ये भी तीन करोड़ का है सिक्स किलोमीटर है चार लेन नया ब्रिज बन रहा है इसका बीस परसेंट काम पूरा हुआ है और मैं आपको विश्वास दिलाना चाहता हूं कि सितंबर 2024 में मैं फिर से आऊंगा और नीतीश कुमार जी के साथ मिलकर इस ब्रिज का निश्चित रूप से उद्घाटन करूंगा नेशनल हाईवे अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया एन एच ए आई एंड इस कंट्रैक्टर्स एंटर गिनीस वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड फॉर लिंग सेवेंटी किलोमीटर लॉन्ग कंटिन्यूस विटुमिन्यूस कंक्रीट रोड इन रिकॉर्ड फाइव डेज Union Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari congratulated the team of NHAI contractors engineers and laborers who put in efforts for asphalting work which started from the 3rd of this month the work was carried out in a single lane on NH53 section between Amravati and Akola in West Vidarbha this project was carried under ongoing Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav initiative by NHAI जन जन ने निर्णय लेकर भारत की सूरत बदली है कदम कदम पे जनता मोदी जी के साथ चली है आज साल में हमने संभव को संभव कर डाला है जब के सूरज का देखो पश्चिम में भी उजाला है साथ गई अब दिन आएगा भी तो ये बस भोर है Government has made unprecedented investments in infrastructure in the last eight years to take India to new heights. Infrastructure is the basis of development of any nation. As soon as Prime Minister Narendra Modi came to power in 2014, he emphasized on strengthening the infrastructure. PM Gati Shakti Yojana was launched last year with an objective to speed up projects by connecting all concerned departments on a single platform for infrastructure development and multimodal connectivity. The scheme is intended to break departmental silos and bring in more holistic and integrated planning and execution of projects which will help bring down the logistics cost and translate into enormous economic gains to consumers, farmers, youth as well as those engaged in businesses. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had said that Gati Shakti Yojana will give impetus to India of the 21st century. PM Gati Shakti National Master Plan, Bharat ke atma bal ko, atma viswas ko, atma nirbharta ke sankalpa tak le jane wala hai. Ye National Master Plan 21st sadi ke Bharat ko Gati Shakti dega. Director General of Industry Organization FICCI Arun Chawla says that investment in the railways and shipping sector will lead to development of the country and create more employment opportunities. Railway infrastructure aap dekhiye an investment of 50 lakh crores by 2030. Similarly you go into ports खास तौर पर रिसेंट क्वाड समिट के बाद इट इज ग्रोइंग सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ द इंडो पैसिफिक रीजन फ्रॉम बोथ स्ट्रेटेजिक एंड ट्रेड पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू इंडिया प्लान टू इन्वेस्ट 82 टू यूएस बिलियन डॉलर इन पोर्ट प्रोजेक्ट बाय ट्वेंटी थर्टी फाइव इस नजरिए से देखें ये सारी चीजें जो है इंडिया को डेवलप करेंगी बट इम्प्लॉयमेंट भी बहुत टेक केयर करेंगी 
स्ट्रॉन्ग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन द कंट्री विल नॉट ओनली मेक द व्हील ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट स्पिन फास्टर बट विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज ऑन ए लार्ज स्केल विद दीपेंद्र कुमार अनुपम मिश्र ए आर न्यूज डेली यू आर लिस्निंग टू द मॉर्निंग न्यूज ऑन ऑल इंडिया रेडियो अ रिमाइंडर ऑफ द हेडलाइंस बिफोर वी मूव ऑन Prime Minister Narendra Modi to inaugurate Biotech Startup Expo 2022 in New Delhi tomorrow. President Ramnath Kovind lauds youngsters of country as not only inheritors of past but also ones who will lead India into golden age. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh says India and Vietnam share a comprehensive strategic partnership and defence cooperation is a key pillar of this partnership. Reaches Vietnam on a 3-day visit. Minister for Road Transport and Highways Nitin Gadkari inaugurates and lays foundation stones of 15 national highway projects worth over rupees 13000 crores in Bihar yesterday. External Affairs Minister Dr S J Shankar says India has gone extra mile for its neighbors and will continue to do so whether during covid pandemic or the current economic crisis. Health Minister Dr Mansukh Mandavia says aim of government is to provide affordable and accessible health care for all finance minister nirmala sitaraman to launch iconic day celebrations of department of economic affairs in new delhi today as a part of azadi ka amrit mahotsav in assam polling underway for 26 karbi anglong autonomous council kaac constituencies rbi's monetary policy committee likely to announce outcome of meeting today in mumbai World Bank slashes global economic growth forecast for 2022 due to Russia Ukraine conflict supply chain disruption and other factors Khelo India Youth Games 2021 Maharashtra leads medal tally with 24 gold 24 silver and 18 bronze medals and Indian shooter Avni Lekra strikes gold at para shooting world cup in France with a record score yesterday For quick news updates around the clock follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts Apne business ko badhane ke liye lijiye Aakashwani ka sahyog aur dijiye use bulandiyon ke pankh Aapka business local hai ya rashtriya Aakashwani deti hai upbhoktaon tak pahunchne ka har vikalp aur ab to aap ghar daftar ya dukaan par baithe baithe kar sakte hain Aakashwani ke kisi bhi kendra ke liye vigyapanon ki booking Aakashwani ke vibhinn channelon par vigyapan dena सुलभ और सस्ता बुकिंग है तो संपर्क करें आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो पर आठ सात शून्य 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 एक चार दो चार दो कॉम्पिटिशन के अगर आप कर रहे हैं तैयारी तो उनके लिए ऑल इंडिया रेडियो पर हम लाए हैं अभ्यास एक ऐसा कार्यक्रम जिसमें आप पूछेंगे सवाल व्हाट्सएप नंबर नाइन टू एट नाइन जीरो नाइन फोर जीरो डबल फोर पर या फिर ई मेल करेंगे अभ्यास डॉट ए आई आर न्यूज एट जी मेल डॉट कॉम आरोप और हमारे विशेषज्ञ देंगे इसका जवाब इस बार का विषय है इकोनॉमिक्स और सवाल भेजने की अंतिम तारीख है आठ जून आपका अभ्यास हमारा प्रयास वेलकम बैक यूर लिस्निंग टू द मॉर्निंग न्यूज In Assam, polling for the 26 Karbianglong Autonomous Council (KAAC) constituencies spread across two hill districts is underway and will continue till 4:30 p.m. today. Altogether, 154 candidates are in the fray, including 14 female for the 26 seats. An Assam State Election Commission has set up a total of 906 polling stations, out of which 57 has been identified as sensitive. Finance and Corporate Affairs Minister Nirmala Sitaraman will launch the iconic day celebrations of the Department of Economic Affairs at Vigyan Bhavan in New Delhi today as a part of Azadi ka Amrit Mahotsav. Discussions will be held on emergence of women investors in securities market and growth of Indian retail investors during the symposium on Jagruk Niveshak Samriddhi Bharat ki Neev organized by SEBI in collaboration with the Department of Economic Affairs. The symposium will also explore the possibilities presented by the encouraging trend of increasing participation of women in financial markets. Monetary Policy Committee (MPC) of the Reserve Bank of India is likely to announce its decisions on the key rates in Mumbai today. MPC resolution will be keenly watched for its inflation and growth forecasts 
as well as other policy measures to augment the most challenging phase since India adopted an inflation targeting framework in 2016. RBI Governor Shakti Kantadas is likely to brief the media about decisions taken by the expert committee. The meeting to decide key interest rates began on Monday. World Bank yesterday slashed the global economic growth forecast for 2022 due to the Russia-Ukraine conflict, supply chain disruption and other factors. It added that many countries are likely to face recession. In its Global Economic Prospects report, the bank said the world economy is expected to experience its sharpest deceleration following an initial recovery from global recession in more than 80 years. It has predicted that the world economy will expand 2.9% this year. And now, let's listen to a special program, Azadi Ka Safar, highlighting the importance of the day during the freedom struggle. Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News Birth of a Nation India's glorious freedom struggle is one of the greatest struggles the modern world has ever witnessed. AIR News brings you a glimpse of the struggle every day. Nanne hasur parli ke kaasu bodi ke pratiye kavaran tha aneek ke kalasa kallanu nanne jiva mana dalli nanu madli ke prayatam matto dhund karna. Adre adhe vandu vishe na matra la sahitya dalli nanu balya radhya asati vai sidhe. Adi ke mukhya karana nama halli dalli nama manita na dalli i achcha gana da kuri to thumma jandri kaasati to. Aga dhodda vandu joint family nama do. आ काल दे लाल जॉइंट फैमिली आयुष्मत कुटुंबा उन मने लिए आयुष्मत किंता नूरा किंता जहीर की जनरल इधर। We remember poet, journalist and Indian independence activist Kayer Kinhana Rai. He was born on the 8th of June 1915 in Kasaragod in Madras Presidency of British India. Rai began his career as a secondary school teacher and later moved to journalism. He wrote articles for newspapers like Swabhimana, Madras Mail and The Hindu. He was deeply influenced by Mahatma Gandhi. He dedicated his writings towards raising the national consciousness and also participated in the freedom struggle actively. Kayar Kinhana Rai was also a poet. He has written a biography of Govindapai, the Kannada poet, by whom he was highly influenced. Some of his famous poems are Srimukha, Chetana, Punaranava and Kuraga. His other important works are Sahitya Drishti and Malayala Sahitya Charitre. In 1998, he served as president of the 67th Akhil Bharatiya Kannada Sahitya Sammelana. Rai was bestowed with various awards for his achievements including Karnataka Sahitya Academy Puraskar, National Award for Best Teacher and Karnataka Ekikaran Award. AIR pays tribute to the great nationalist. Go, go, follow your we remember Mate Ha Muhammad. He organized a group of independent activists during the first war of independence in 1857. He provided the activists with financial help and led the group against the British authorities and overthrowing their oppressive rule. Khan Muhammad was captured by the British troops in the cause of their counter-attacks on the activists. He was put on trial for aiding and abetting the rebellion against the British. He was sentenced to imprisonment for life with hard labor in irons in May 1858. He was transported to the Andaman Islands in March 1859 where Khan Muhammad died in captivity on the 8th of June 1859. We salute the brave son of the soil. We also pay tributes to Mata Sumu. He joined the independence activists during the first war of independence in 1857 and fought the British at several places in the Bombay Presidency. He was captured by the company troops and put on trial. 
he was sentenced to imprisonment for ten years with hard labor in irons and transported to the Andaman Islands in March 1859. Sumu died while in detention at Cellular Jail on 8th of June 1859. We salute the brave son of the soil. And that brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow. The Enforcement Directorate has summoned Interim President uh, Sonia Gandhi to appear before the agency today in connection with a money laundering case linked to the AJL National Herald newspaper case. The AJL is reportedly controlled by the senior Congress leaders, including members of the Gandhi family. The group runs the National Herald newspaper. External Affairs Minister Dr. S.J. Shankar has said India has gone extra mile for its neighbors and will continue to do so, whether during COVID pandemic or the current economic crisis. Addressing an event in New Delhi yesterday, Dr. Jay Shankar said that Indian foreign policy thinking is displaying greater conceptual and operational clarity. He said India count vaccine Maitri as one of its key achievements. The External Affairs Minister said when it comes to security, India will do what it takes to ensure national well-being. In the Kelo India Youth Games 2021, Maharashtra leads the medal tally with 24 gold, 24 silver and 18 bronze medals. Maharashtra has won total 66 medals till last evening, while Haryana clinched a total of 72 medals, but it moved to second position with 23 gold, 20 silver and 29 bronze medals. Manipur with 12 gold, 3 silver and 2 bronze medals is at the third place in the medal tally. Tamil Nadu has reached fourth place by winning 6 gold, 9 silver and 4 bronze medals. Punjab has come down at the fifth place in the medal tally with 6 gold, 4 silver and 6 bronze medals. Indian shooter, shooter Avni Lekra won gold medal at the Para Shooting World Cup in France yesterday with a record score. The victory assured Tokyo Olympic gold medalist Lekra of a spot in the 2024 Paris Paralympics. And now an overview of today's newspapers. Centre unveils India's first national air sports policy, informs the Hindustan Times. Government reaches out to all OIC members, leads the Hindu. The paper writes, MEA sends heads of missions memo on dealing with diplomatic fallout. China on mind, Rajnath visits Vietnam to boost defense ties, reports the Times of India. Trial drug completely cures rectal cancer in all patients, notes the pioneer. United States plans record intake of Indian students, informs the Tribune. The Financial Express, quoting the Election Commission, says... Time to explore possibilities of remote voting. And finally, on the Asian Cup football qualifiers, the Indian Express writes, led by Chetri, India look to break the shackles in bid to secure a championship spot. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Nandir Modi to inaugurate Biotech Startup Expo 2022 in New Delhi tomorrow. President Ramnath Kovind lords youngsters of the country as not only inheritors of the past, but also ones who will lead India into golden age. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh says India and Vietnam share a comprehensive strategic partnership and defence cooperation is a key pillar of this partnership, reaches Vietnam on a three-day visit. Minister for Road Transport and Highways Nitin Gadkari inaugurates and lays foundation stones of 15 national highway projects worth over 13,000 crore rupees in Bihar yesterday. External Affairs Minister of S. Shankar Pais says India has gone extra mile for its neighbours and will continue to do so with, whether during the COVID pandemic or the current economic crisis. Health Minister Dr. Mansuk Mandavia says aim of government is to provide affordable and accessible health care for all. Finance Minister Nirma Sitaraman to launch iconic day celebrations of Department of Economic Affairs in New Delhi today as part of Azadi Kamrit Mahotsav. In Assam, polling underway for 26 Karbiyanglong Autonomous Council KAAC constituencies. RBS Monetary Policy Committee likely to announce outcome of meeting today in Mumbai. World Bank slashes global economic growth forecast for 2022 due to Russia-Ukraine conflict, supply chain disruption and other factors. Hello India Youth Games 2021, Maharashtra leads medal tally with 24 gold, 24 silver and 18 bronze medals. And Indian shooter Avni Lekra strikes gold at the Para Shooting World Cup in France with a record score yesterday. 
And with that, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.